Hello, my name is Rachel Mono, and I am a recent graduate from Utah State University in world, from the Department of World Languages and Cultures. I just recently received my Master of Second Language Teaching here at Utah State in May of 2022. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how setting the bar high for attendance can have a significant impact on students' interpersonal development. So maybe like a lot of you, when you first started teaching as a graduate student, or even just when you started teaching, you probably thought, okay, how much weight am I supposed to give assignments? Do I give quizzes? Are they graded? Do I do tests? What do I do? And I had the same questions. I was really confused as to how I was supposed to weight everything and what was supposed to happen in cl during class time. One of the major questions I had was, how much should I weight attendance? I don't, I don't know that necessarily that is one a lot of people think about, but this was actually really important to me, and I'll explain why. I think in general, we mostly look at attendance and think, well, yeah, attendance is important, being in class is important. So we're under the impression that higher attendance will probably equal higher grades. And I would agree that that's what I believed as well. I found that that was true, but even more than that, I found that students did improve their grades, but there was something more that happened for them, and that's the question mark. And this is the story I want to tell you today. I teach the Spanish 1010 class, hola, and the Spanish 1010 class is the first course in a series of beginner courses, of which there's four, for the introductory um, Spanish level classes. So most of the students, or nearly all the students, have not had any experience with Spanish at all. Um, some of them have not had other second languages before, and it can be really, really intimidating for them. My class requires that students work with partners or in groups on a regular basis, and this is every single class period. Working with a partner or in a group is completely essential to language learning because students don't have the opportunity to practice what they've learned in their homework with a native Spanish speaker or someone who is um, even partially native. They uh, need that practice during class. So working with a partner or working with a group or just speaking out loud is absolutely essential to our class. But as you can probably imagine, it's one of the most challenging things for students to do. And I just want to explain, we do a flipped classroom where our students will learn their homework and their grammar and um, vocabulary all at home on their own. And then during class is when they practice that. But when you get to class, that's usually very scary for students. They're overwhelmed. Um, on top of it being a subject maybe they're not familiar with, it's in another language. So you can imagine how very challenging it can be for students to be able to work with a partner or work in a group, and then on top of that, do it all in a new language. And the only way for students to be able to practice that and maybe get over that anxiety is to really just to do it more often, right? To be in class more often, to be participating with partners and groups more often. So uh, one of my semesters, I had attendance set at around 10%. And the results was that the percentage of students with a final grade of A was around 42% for that semester. And then the semester that I wanted to try out what would happen if I um, weighted attendance more heavily, I weighted it to 30%. And the percent of students with final grade of A went up a ton to 64%. So that's huge. So this is a side-to-side -side comparison. So 10%, the 10% is on the left and the 30% is on the right. And as you can see, that's a huge jump in the number of students who are, are uh, upping their grades, which is great. And if simply boosting attendance uh, percentage can do this for grades, then that's awesome, right? We can pat ourselves on the back and say, oh my goodness, that had a great effect. But there's actually more. And this is the really important part that I wanted to share and that I was pleasantly su surprised about um, was the result of upping the weight of attendance in my class. The wonderful thing is that there is a huge positive impact on interpersonal development and motivation. So we have the wonderful grades, which is great all on its own. But the thing that I really was excited about and students were excited about, aside from great grades, was that they started to develop interpersonally. 
As many of you have probably experienced teaching um, at the university, anxiety is, a, is just a big part of everyday life with a lot of students. There are many students who simply cannot talk in class. They are afraid to talk with a partner. They're afraid to talk in a group. They're afraid to talk to you. And that just seems to be um, a normal part of um, our, our group of students nowadays. I had a number of students who simply could not talk at all. After um, having them come to class regularly, work with the partner, work with the group, and contribute, they finally could talk. Um, it didn't happen till close to the end of the semester, and I had two students in particular who I didn't hardly even hear their voice, voices till the end of the semester, who started raising their hand, who started reading, who I could actually hear their voice. And that to me was one of the most touching things, is that being there regularly helped th these people to develop, and then they could talk. It was wonderful. A lot, uh, most of the students, or I, I would say all of the students were much more comfortable talking to their peers. So instead of just sitting and staring at each other or being embarrassed that they're going to mess up, they could do it. They could work with a partner, they could work with a group, and they could also switch partners. Because we had been um, encouraging attendance this whole semester and working with partners this whole semester, Everyone knew each other's names. They knew a lot about one another. I learned everyone's names, and I can re refer to them by their names, and that pleases them uh, uh, hugely, I'm happy to say. Um, but, th but they were building a relationship with each other, and it was wonderful because they needed that practice to be able to um, learn the language, and that wasn't going to happen unless they were able to feel comfortable working with a partner. I love this as well. They started helping one another. So during class, there's some students who are more comfortable speaking, who understood the homework more than others. And they would sit by someone who maybe didn't understand, and they would help one another. I also sort of listened in, and I could tell that students were also helping each other outside of class. This was actually really cool. I had no idea that they were calling each other to do homework, checking in on each other um, when they were trying to do projects and, su and such. And it was really, really great um, to me to see that. Another thing that they would do is seek each other out and check up on one another. Similar to the last one, uh, they really did, if a student didn't show up to class, another student would message them on Instagram and ask where they were. Um, if, uh, whatever it might be, if, if somebody wasn't there, somebody else would go check up on them or let them know what the assignment was that they missed. Um, another thing I absolutely loved that came out of all of this um, working together was that a lot of times um, it was time for class to start and my whole class was out in the hall just talking to each other about their weekend and their families and all these things. I have to welcome them, come in, it's time to start. But they really had become such good friends with one another that they could just enjoy being in the hall and then coming in and enjoying class together. I really enjoyed that, seeing that. Another thing that was really awesome was I had some students who either didn't want to do homework or were too anxious to do homework because you know there was a grade involved or do projects because they had to record themselves speaking. For those students who, um, who were attending regularly, they actually started doing their homework. So it was, I didn't think I was going to see um, students start to do homework who hadn't done homework at the beginning of the semester, but we actually did see that happen. So students who hadn't done projects before were trying to do it now. Students who hadn't really done a lot of homework were trying to do it now. Um, they were just more invested. One thing that was really interesting as I reflected on this experience is that I realized my own attitude had an effect. And I started thinking to myself, OK, so what is it that me um, weighting attendance more heavily did for my students. What did they think I felt about attendance? And one of the things I noticed that they could tell was that I wanted to see them. They also knew that I cared about this subject. I was excited about teaching this. I was excited about them learning it. And I wanted them to care about it as well. This also um, transferred into um, how they saw their peers. Their peers wanted to see them. They cared about each other. They cared about the subject, and they wanted to learn together. And so the, the fear about speaking with one another was greatly reduced. 
Overall, um, I really believe that this helped increase the opportunity for students to develop socially, which is so important. They um, were learning to work together. They had increased interest in the subject matter. They built trust with one another. And one of the greatest things is they actually reduced anxiety so they could reduce that effective filter and start learning the language and getting to know their partners. I really truly believe that this is a valuable skill for these students and I'm hoping that if you had my students in one of your classes that learning to speak, raise your hand, have a partner, switch partners, work in a group was uh, something that showed in my class but also showed in your class when you taught them. I know that these are valuable skills that students can also um, use in their future lives, in their careers, in their families, in their communities. And I know that not every class is the same, and you know I'm teaching a language class, but I do believe that if we can weight attendance more heavily and help students to realize the importance of being there, building that uh, communication with you, building a sense of community with the other students that are in the class, that you can have those same kind of effects that I was able to enjoy and see in my class. It was thrilling, especially to see students who would never speak, start speaking um, and doing their work and participating and actually look happy to be <laughs> in class. And again, as I mentioned, which I think is really important, learning another language is a totally different thing. Um, it's learning a subject and learning it in another language. So it's a big challenge. Anyway, I hope that that encourages anyone who's watching to feel like maybe raising or um, weighing attendance um, in their syllabus a little more heavily can help encourage your students to build that community and you can have some of these wonderful effects like I have had. Thank you so much. Bye.